Good morning, Mana Church. It is so good to be back with you for day two of this week's Morning Mana, we, where we are hanging out together talking about what it looks like to be humble, from the really from the perspective of Philippians chapter two, verses one through eleven. Yesterday we covered the first couple of verses. Today we will be, we will be looking at verses three and four, which says, "Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves." Let each of you look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. So yesterday we saw that the H stood for harmony. Today, the U in humble stands for unselfish. It is natural for us to want to take care of ourselves regardless of how it impacts other people around us. A perfect example of this is when there, there's a, a hurricane or there's, there's a snow in the area and that, that triggers people to run to the store and buy, buy up all the eggs, bread, and milk they possibly can, leaving many of us without the possibility of being able to make French toast. What a bummer. Sometimes it can be so hard for us to stop and consider the people around us, even the people in our own family. But Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, here Paul is telling us that we should place others' needs above our own. And Rick Warren echoes this sentiment with his quote that humility is not thinking less of yourself, it is thinking of yourself less. I love this perspective because it flows directly into the principle found in verse 4 by saying that it is not like we shouldn't consider our own interests or needs, instead be more intentional about serving others' needs. This can be walked out in so many facets of our lives. How radical would our marriages change or the teams that we are on or the organizations that we work for if we were more intentional about serving others and putting others' needs above our own? I know the landscape of marriages, teams, organizations, all those things would change for the better if we adopted this perspective in our lives. Well, thanks again for hanging out with me today. I am looking forward to our time throughout the rest of this week. Have a great rest of your day. God bless.